Hi, this is Sai Morton with the daily update on Eurofix. I post my exclusive market overviews with the key political and economical events, charts and important levels on the Forex Pisami.com forum weekly. This short video is a response to rapidly changing situation of the currency markets and should help you to stand top of the game and be profitable. I suggest you to visit ForexPisami.com forum and read my analysis for the week before watching this daily video. Welcome back everybody, so just brief look on the forex market, we'll take a look at the different scenarios that we discussed in last week on Friday as well, just because you can see market is just waking up after the Easter holidays, so if yesterday the United States already uh, was working, then Europe, Europe is still worth celebrating as a Easter Monday, that's why you can see that in Euro currency we do not have some significant performance. But at the same time, the thing that we said in the Vico report suggests that, uh, well, at least currently it seems that we were correct, as uh, we said, this market with this performance actually has tried to show the washing rings, or, or at least trying to show this performance. Uh, it was well, not very uh, successful attempt. As you can see, market later starts keep moving lower back to the lows. And this performance, when the market shows the pressure and stand below the broken lows here despite that we hear some have some signs on the possible divergence or something that sort although trend here still stands bearish uh, even this price of action suggests existence of the bearish sentiment and in the current circumstances chances stands in favor of the bears that these lows will be taken out the market will start just keep dropping lower it means that if you would like to take the long position, maybe the situation will change. We do not know. Um, but one thing that we have to know here is that with the attempt to go long on the euro currency right now, you definitely have to get clear bullish reversal pattern in the long time frame. If you do not have it, just do not think about taking the long position. Because here we, will, we could get straightforward downside acceleration. If you will take a look at other markets, so usually we are taking a look at the cross market analysis, dollar index recently has keep going higher, as you can see here with this upward action. Yes, it was a thin market, but anyway, we see upward continuation. On the 10 year yield, yes, there's also a significant jump up right to the 2288 area. Here, as you can see, guys, by the way, our monthly target at 3.45. But if you'll take a look at the daily chart, take a look what happened on Monday. So you can see upper continuation on Friday, and here's market testing the strong resistance. Uh, so, sorry, uh, testing the uh, new new top. And since market stands at some resistance by the upper body area, uh, it's even more surprising that in these conditions, you can see market has the ability just to, you can see just, take the challenge of the strong upper body area as on the weekly chart and then the monthly. That just suggests that some significant uh, supply stands uh, on the United States treasuries. And you can see the market just pushing in a little, little higher. By the way, those of you who haven't read the gold market analysis, there you, I mean the weekly, weekly report, there you could find very interesting stuff concerning the supply of the treasuries and demand. And, uh, and since the beginning of 2022, it's uh, obviously could be seen a uh, significant drop in the demand for United States bonds. Uh, this is, well, really not very uh, expected turn in this subject, which is usually more or less than stable, but it definitely could be seen that demand in, the, in this year, 25, 30% below the average for previous decade, probably. So it it's, uh, really could be, could be seen easily so from that standpoint it seems that the dollar still has the support with all other factors on the table as well and from that standpoint on the euro currency um, personally i suspect that it might be straightforward downside breakout instead of some reversal so as we already mentioned uh, on friday we have some signs of the bearish dynamic pressure here as we said and indeed this drop has happened here and this performance that we see right now on the four hour time from chart on the hourly chart with breakout, despite that market's trying to stay above this area, all this stuff looks well a bit not very inspiring actually, guys. And uh, since 
don't be deceived with these possible divergences that we have here. What might be the divergence, something of that sort. It's just because, well, uh, market not at ever, uh, not not at some support. So divergence is valuable if market stands at strong support there, but currently it is not. And from that standpoint, even existence of the divergence absolutely doesn't guarantee us that might be some significant upper reversal. So here is considering the minor targets, minor extensions that market could reach. We have one or seven. Uh, and uh, as we said on the weekly chart, we also will have one or 635 area as the next nearest support that we discussed. So this probably might be the destination on this week. And once again, if you would like to take the long position, if the situation starts to change, wait for a clear bullish pattern. I do not know what it might be. Maybe it will be some kind of the head and shoulders here, right? So it might happen. This will be the left shoulder ahead. The market starts upper direction, right shoulder. You could try to take the position. It will save for lots of your um, money if you will follow clear patterns and do not try to anticipate current reversal. It is very dangerous. So that's our view on the forex market, right? By the way, as I promised on other other currencies. So on on the cable, you could see nothing really new where market is consolidating around the same 127 target and also is preparing for downward action as the market shows very weak response and shows no ability to show some real reversal. It increased chances that probably some another move down could follow. The same story you could see as on the Japanese yen, as on the Australian dollar. On the Japanese yen, it makes sense to consider only high time frame, frame charts as monthly chart. So you can see market already stands above uh, 127 area, although we said that this is strong monthly resistance. And uh, if you remember, on Friday we discussed how market will respond here, whether it will reach 127 and starts moving down or it will try to complete the first target 133. Now it seems that market is choosing the second scenario is moving to the 133 area. If no real intervention from the Bank of Japan follows, it's probably will be reached and after that maybe it will be some pullback but this is a cluster resistance around 27 33 area that we could consider where potential some response might be to some placement could happen in australian dollar the same story we are if you remember we discussed the possible downward action and said that you could start searching chance to go short with the stops about this area and currently as you can see market also keep going lower this retracement that started you could watch for intraday charts uh, looking for fib levels where you could try and take the short position and uh, if you trade australian dollar then uh, you could try to possess them yourself with this scenario because if this top will stay in april we will get monthly bearish grabber that suggests significant drop down and big a b c top d pattern on the monthly chart so that's shortly what we have on the forex market. Let's keep watching. Hopefully this week will be interesting.